If I have had the pleasure of meeting you, perhaps you ask me the question, seeing that I was six foot eight, did I play basketball? Well, the answer, of course, is yes, and I loved it. Uh, but that gives me the opportunity to tell you that for some, basketball is more than just a game. Yeah, it's a collection of skills and strategies to get the ball from one end of the court to the other and into the basket. But in some cases, it's the very thing that unites a community. It gives them an escape from the harsh world that's outside the gym, and it fills young hearts with hope. That's the case for Dover High School, and this year the team had sights set on the state championship title. Here to tell you a little bit more about that this afternoon is WBOC and Telemundo's Jose Cuevas, who spent some time with the team to tell their story in an upcoming special. Jose, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's always nice to be uh, alongside you, Jimmy. Okay, now, this actually began in 2019? Yeah, so I started covering Dover in uh, the 2018-2019 season. They had a spectacular season that went undefeated in the regular season and in the playoffs. And everyone had high expectations for them in the state championship game against Sanford. Unfortunately, it was the only game that they lost. However, they had a junior core, so it made pretty uh, pretty much obvious sense to follow them this past season, knowing that they had their sights set on that state championship and redemption as well. Okay, so for at least three, I guess you would say, pivotal members of the team, the 1920 season was a huge one. Yeah, I mean, it was, everyone had their sights set on that state championship. And uh, because, you know, imagine going undefeated the whole season and all of the playoffs. Then when you get to that state championship game, it's the only time that you've ever tasted defeat. Definitely stung them a lot. And I know that they were super driven. Uh, Jaheim Spencer, Wanye Wise, Elijah Allen, Eden Davis, all of those guys really wanted to get that first chip. And I know Coach Wilson was hungry the whole time. They've been talking about it the whole year heading into the 2019-2020 season. Okay, so you, you got to know the coach. You got to know the team. Um, you got to know the players. What were their lives like off of the court, Jose. Great, exemplary young men. And I, you know, that's what I love most about sports. It's not just the action on the court. It's the storytelling that, that can be done through it. It's kind of like a, you know, a great medium to kind of explain the human experience. All of these young men have been through a lot of adversity in their life, which I talk about in the documentary. And you know, Coach Wilson, Coach Stephen Wilson, he was very much a mentor and a father figure for a lot of these uh, young men. Uh, so you know, a combination of quirky, funny, intense. It was really cool, and it's you know, it's a privilege. It was truly a privilege to be able to cover these guys throughout the season and you know, see them further develop as basketball players, but also as young men. So what does round ball mean to them? What does round ball mean to the community? Ooh, in Dover, it's life. You know, um, Dover. You know, like any other inner city, has crime, has a lot of things that are going on outside of it. And I remember that the coach would always talk about, hey, for this, these two hours, the, the, the time that they're on the court, the city comes together. And ever since I started covering Dover when I first got here to Delmarva, that's the one thing I noticed, is same as Delmar in football or other communities and other sports, when the Dover basketball team played, everyone went to that gym. And during that time, <laughs> that's, what brought together that community all of the beasts went aside and it was just it was so much fun and it was so cool and that's the beauty that's the beautiful thing about sports is you get to you know it isn't just about the game it's about you know people gathering and getting behind one another during the most difficult right. of times and jose tells the story when can we see more so this sunday at six on fox 21 and at 11 30 on uh, wboc i have worked so much on this documentary and i'm so excited to share it with you because like i said i think it's uh if you're not a sports fan you don't have to be into the x's and o's because i i'm really just happy of how i was able to tell the stories of these young men and how they brought together the community through basketball Inside the lines. Can't wait to see it, Jose. I'm going to tell you beforehand, great job, because I know it means so much to you. Thank you. <laughs> WBOC and Telemundo's Jose Cuevas. We're going to talk to you again soon. Thank you much.